Hi there, I'm Chris Trunster, and I'm going to do a quick demo of a tool uh, Steve Borsch and I uh, both wrote together called Egress Assess. Uh, Egress Assess is designed to basically let you test exfiltrating fake or real data out of, over out of network over a variety of different protocols. Um, I'll just do a quick demo here to show you how to do it, uh, let's say in this case over DNS, and then I'll also show you how you can emulate certain different actors inside a network. Um, what we have built in right now are, are four different modules for actors. I believe it's a Zeus, um, Putter Panda, and a couple other ones. Uh, basically, in order to get this running, um, all you need to do is have two instances of egress assess. It's the same exact code, uh, but you'll put one wherever you want to run it from, so typically inside a network, and then uh, an, a server that's maybe a VPS out there where you're going to exfiltrate data to. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start Wireshark just so you can kind of see what everything looks like over the network. Uh, so in this case, I'm just running this obviously on my same local system, but again, uh, you would just change the IP address from uh, your actual, uh, instead of the local system, to your actual uh, egress point that you're sending to. So in this case, uh, I'm going to start the egress assess server and put it in server mode by using the server flag and tell it to listen for DNS packets. And so that's now up and running. Uh, in order to now send data out, um, we're going to send fake data. And so in this case, we're going to first call egress assess. We're going to tell it to be in client mode and send stuff out over DNS. I'm um, providing the IP to send data to, which is just my local server, but again, this would be uh, anywhere. And then the this type of data that I'm going to send out in this case is social security numbers. And so this is generating fake social security numbers on the fly and sending them out. So I'll go ahead and hit the enter. It's generating the data. And now you can see over here in Wireshark, uh, DNS traffic that's protocol compliant is being sent out over the network. And so um, if I just want to look at one, let's just say this one here real quick, you can see this is the data, it's a text record being sent out. And this is really base64 encoded uh, so security numbers. To test that out, uh, we can look at our data folder where everything is saved server side. And so this is so you can provide attribution and prove that yes, we actually did exfiltrate data out and here's what we took. So if we want to look at this, uh, this is the data that's being sent out currently over DNS, and you can see it's social security numbers. Awesome. So at this point, I'm going to stop the server, stop tailing that. We're going to stop sending the data, and now we're going to turn off the server. Uh, the next other demo that I wanted to give is um, use it, pretending to be an actor. And so in this case, or a piece of malware, let's pretend to be Zeus. Uh, and so this allows you to actually emulate how Zeus talks on network and um, so that you can your customers or whoever you're doing this for can actually see, hey, uh, yes, this is Zeus. It's operating on your network now. Will we actually catch it? So to do it, it's essentially the same exact syntax. Or we're calling egress assess. So this time we're putting it in actor mode until we want to emulate Zeus. And then now we're just specifying that to address the setting the data to. It. So we're going to start it up. So we have a web server up. Start Zeus, and there we go. These are different types of requests that Zeus makes uh, that should be known bad URIs. Additionally, packet uh, what's being sent are known bad domains. Uh, so any network analysis um, device you may have should hopefully have rules in there to catch and detect these bad domains and bad URIs and flag them as potential Zeus traffic. That's about it right now. That's how to use the Python client and server. Uh, we also have a PowerShell version of Egress Assess, so you can load this all up in memory on a Windows system without ever needing to like have, use Python, obviously. Um, so hope this helped, and uh, have a good one.